What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I hate to say, but I'm back on Arch. Um, you know, a couple days ago, maybe three days ago, I switched to Debian testing, um, and I discovered some terrible, terrible things with it um, that I really don't like. And it makes me sort of astonished that people like using Debian-based distros, distros, you know, to each their own. Um, you know, I started with Arch, so I'm probably just the most used to it, but had some really strange things like um, uh, OBS not being available, the 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 flat pack of OBS not working with NVENC encoding, which is just terrible because I record these videos every day. Um, also, what? Um, oh, there's a second thing. Hold on. Uh, yeah, and I can't get VirtualBox working, and I only know how to do VMs on VirtualBox. And sure, I could learn like KVM, but I don't know, I've been using VirtualBox my whole life, and it's just really astonishing because I would have expected VirtualBox to work. Why wouldn't VirtualBox work on Debian testing? That's crazy that it doesn't, you know? Um, and I expected OBS to have NVENC encoding, because I just thought that was a, like, I, like, you know, I started using Linux in 2019 uh, as my primary desktop operating system, and even then they had NVENC encoding. And sure, it was really new, and they don't, and they still don't have new NVENC encoding, but um, it's just so strange. Um, yeah, so I'm back on, I'm back on Arch. Um, I've changed a couple things with my configs. Um, my mouse looks a little too big in my. Uh, let me make this bigger for you guys. Well, if it's bigger, I can just go like this. Um, in my. In my X resources file, I have X cursor size 16. It may, like, I think maybe it should be 12 uh, because it's just a little too big. I don't know why. Um, another thing I fixed is I was having always, I was always having this terrible, terrible issue with i3 the whole time. Uh, the whole time I've been using i3, which has been like two and a half years. Um, and it's uh, where whenever I'm on my desktop or something that's an application, I always have my, my, my cursor is like a loading cursor. Uh, just always, it's just moving around, it's a loading cursor, and I don't, I never know why. Um, I looked it up, apparently it's because in your, um, uh, in your config for, um, for, am I a crazy person? Sorry guys. Um, in your i3 config, it happens when, let me move this up. In your i3 config, it happens when you have when you don't have no startup ID set up in um, when executing things in your i3 config. So I just replaced exec with exec with the no startup ID flag, and everything worked fine. So um, you know I don't have that weird um, you know uh, issue with my mouse cursor being a loading cursor, which is nice. Um, I also changed the things with my uh, polybar config. Um, so I use no, I haven't changed this yet. You can still click on it. I don't like being able to click on things in my bar. Uh, like, sure, it's nice. I might have it for some very specific things, but for things like the clock, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, sorry, yeah. Um, so for my icons, I used to have this icon pack called CG. Um, and in the process of... Let me just bring up my... I just bring up my polybar content. Yeah, so it's actually open right here. Um, so right here, um, you can see that I had, um, so I used to have this font. I'm so sorry, guys. I have weird brain fog. Um, I used to have this font called CG for my icon. So it used to be a little CG clock icon and a CG volume icon. And uh, This isn't correct. I, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have 12% usage. I, I think this might just be for my root direct, for my, um, root partition, not for my home partition, because I shouldn't have 12% use, so I'm gonna fix this, but it hasn't mattered. Um, but now I just use um, nerd font. I, I use nerd font symbols for uh, the, this up here. Um, of course, I still use hack. I love hack. Um, hack is just incredible. I've used it since I've been using Windows uh, on my on, on VS Code. You know, I, I, love, I love hack, right? Um, but, you know, um, so the reason why I have these three fonts is, the reason why I have hack is because it's just the primary font. The reason why I have no, no color emoji is because 
um, in X window, in my X window module here, uh, sometimes I'm on Discord, and uh, sometimes the channel name on Discord can have an emoji in it. And so I need to have emoji support in my poly bar, so then when it's showing the window title up here, um, it can render the emojis properly. So um, I have Noto color emoji there specifically for that. Um, and then I also have symbols nerd font, which I could, I also have the hack nerd font, and the hack nerd font is actually running in my, um, in my version of Alacrity, uh, which you can tell because when I run LS with, <laughs> it's actually easy, I have an alias to, um, uh, I have an alias to, is there anything you guys shouldn't see here? No, you're good. Um, <laughs> I have an alias to EZA. It shouldn't be EXA because oh, we're on EZA now. That's weird, actually. I don't... Because EXA got deprecated, but you'll do... Um... No, I only have ESA. EZA, not... I don't have EXA. I wonder if through the installation of EZA, EXA is sim simlet? Um... Oh yeah, so it looks like uh, EXA is symlinked to EZA, so that, that's why. Um, let me just change this to EZA, because they might change that at some point. Um, we're good? Yeah, okay. Uh, the reason why is because you, you could tell I have um, nerd fonts for hack here, because I have um, the icons on, uh, and they work, and it shows like Vim and stuff, or Vim and Bell. Um, and oh my god, this thing, this terrible thing happens. I don't know what causes this. Um, I have the real downloads folder, which is like the one that's specified in um, my ZSH environment. Like, um, uh, like look, like XGG. Um, oh, really? Oh, that's my issue. Sorry, guys. I I was thinking. I I was really annoyed, being like, oh, why does it? Why does it keep creating this capital D downloads folder when I have the lowercase d downloads folder right here? And it's because I don't have it defined in my um, in my uh, ZSH environment. Um, that's crazy. I'm gonna fix that. Uh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I have symbols nerd font uh, and not hack nerd font um, as two fonts because I like being able to individually control the size of the emojis as well. So. If I just have hack nerd font, um, hack nerd font with a, emoji size eight has the emojis be relatively really big compared to the text, and I only like them a little bit larger than the text. Uh, so I have hack and then uh, symbols, just exclusively symbols from nerd font. Um, uh, also, so then I can control the size of the icons individually. Um, I also have, you know, of course this. Uh, PyCom configuration, which allows for this really nice blur on my um, on my terminal windows, which is kind of the only reason why I have it. It also, it also has a uh, uh, shadow, a very slight shadow here on the um, windows, but that should, I, you know, I, I didn't want to turn off shadows, you know, you might as well have them, so I just made them very faint. Um, but, you know, I have this. Um, I should probably release my configs at some point, but they're just pretty heavily modified uh, Luke Smith configs, so... Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna remove this. I don't change like the audio on my um, computer. It's always at 100%. The reason why I have this up here is because this is actually from my um, from my laptop. This is my laptop config, just a little edited, so it still has the audio config on here. But um, I really don't need it. Uh, the thing I do is I have my computer plugged into some speakers, and I have my headphones plugged into the speaker, right? Um, and so whenever I want to turn up or turn down the volume, I can just use the um, the dial on the speaker. And I've always just done it that way my whole life. Um, so uh, I always have my volume at 100%, so I don't need to have the volume module up there. Um, something also really weird is how this is sorted. Um, this is really confusing to me because last time I set up Polybar, it wasn't like this. Um, typically Polybar's um, workspaces up here are, uh, like, 
chronological. Like it goes one, two, three, four. Like, but it's like if I create ten, ten is before three, and that's not how that works. So I I don't know what's going on with that. So the only things I have to change is you know I have to add like some sort of Pac-Man module, which is easy. Um, I'll have to fix this, which is just so weird and backwards. That's why, you know, whenever I'm changing my workspace, I always like stare directly at the workspace thing and I have to be like, I like hunt and peck the number because I like it's so, it's so, that's not how it was before. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and I'm also running uh, do as um, instead of sudo. Uh, you notice that when I do type sudo, it works, but that the only reason why is because um, uh, the only reason why is because I have sudo uh, sim linked to do as, um, and you know do as is working really good. Um, the reason why I'm using do as is just to be a little different. Um, I like the vibe of do as more than sudo, and you know something something lines of code, something something minimalism. Uh, you know, I complain about minimalism uh, vaguely, uh, but I still have network manager. It's all on this system, you know. So I, you know, what, what, you know, what's even the point, right? Um, but uh, you know, I do have Duas running. The only time I've had to install sudo is um, when I'm installing base devil on my system to get paired, um, which you know I have. Um, whenever I'm installing, um, yeah, when I'm getting base devil onto my system to install Peru. I don't know if base devil has sudo as a dependency or if something in base devil has sudo as a dependency or what, um, but it just installed sudo. Um, and I was like, weird, you know? So I just uninstalled sudo, right? Cause I didn't think, like I, I didn't, I, I, I wasn't sure if um, uh, base devil, uh, absolutely everything was required to build Peru, right? Uh, even though at the beginning of Peru's installation guide it does say install base devil, I was like, do, do, do you really need all these things? Like, I, I you know, I, I, have a, I have a hard time believing that, right? And um, it turns out it did, right? Um, Peru did need sudo. Um, so I just installed it. Um, for that specific time, I had to ask myself to do the sudo or file and stuff. Um, but then after that, I realized that um, I could just symlink sudo to do as. And um, uh, whenever I run Peru now and I ask for. Um, Every time Peru runs sudo as part of the script, um, it just works. It, it um, links to do as because functionally all you're doing with sudo is just raising a user to root privileges. Uh, but sudo does way more than that. Um, and, you know, uh, so that's why I'm running do as of sudo because do as actually all, all it does is elevate you to root privileges. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just hanging out. Uh, yeah, uh, for breakfast I had a bagel. We didn't have any cream cheese, which sucked. Um, but you know, uh, for lunch I had some, I call it shoe lab. That's just what my family calls it, but uh, we have goulash. Um, and for dinner we had a stew and that was really good. And yeah, all right, see you dude.